Hi, my name is Troy Reyna and I'm a pediatric surgeon with CHOP Children's. Today we're going to talk about the appendix and appendicitis. I think when a parent is wondering whether or not their child has appendicitis, is there a their abdominal pain significant? They should look at their child and see what significant changes are occurring in the child's behavior. Is the child, uh, has they lost their appetite in a child who normally has a good appetite? Is the pain primarily on the right side versus the left side or is it the central of the abdomen? Does the pain move? Does the pain come and go or is it rather intense and in one area? Pain that comes and goes is usually associated with spasm or uh, garden variety flu, an upset tummy. The appendix is located in the right lower quadrant. When the, pain, the appendix gets initially inflamed, the pain will start around the umbilicus or the belly button. As the appendix swells, the pain will migrate to the right lower quadrant and stay in one spot. The pain will tend to get more and more and more intense as the appendix becomes more distended and swollen. And when the appendix eventually ruptures, which it can after, the, after two or three days of persistent symptoms, the pain may subside, followed by six to eight hours later, of a recurrence of this intense pain due to the peritonitis and the pus or infection that's in the abdomen. In little ones, uh, little ones under the age of five, the difficulty with the parent is the child has a decreased ability to communicate with them. I tell parents that if the child has issues with walking, by that I mean they have pain with walking or a toddler who knows how to walk all of a sudden does not want to walk and wants to be carried everywhere because their tummy pain is so severe, then they should consider appendicitis and it's not just the flu.